Hold, hold on right quick. Trucking Nails back in the building. Miranda. Where where have you been? Like, I mean, I I, I mean, I haven't seen you in a while, but I, I I noticed that you got back on the road for a little bit. But uh where have you been since the last time we uh we 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 connected? What you what you been into? Um, teaching, you know, I've been teaching at a, a cosmetology school because I'm a nail instructor too. So I just was on sabbatical, you know, doing that and working on some projects. And now I'm just kind of back on the road for a little bit. I'm on home time now, but I decided to stop by and see uh, some people I wanted to see and, you know, check them out. Now, you know? You, now, you know, the last time we talked, you gave up them keys and you... You was you was driving for Warner, and that was a that was a minute ago. So you 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 yep. got you you got back into cosmetology, in particular the the nails and everything. And I've been following you on uh, Instagram at Trucking Nails, and uh, I, I see you 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 kind of sweet, you kind of sweet with them uh with them hands on them nails, man. What's what's the difference? You know, being I know being out in the in trucking. And everything, you know, you're kind of alone and 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 not, you know, you in tune with yourself. But since you got back into the shop and started mingling with people, how did that change for you? Well, teaching at the school, I did that before I got into trucking. So I was doing that before trucking. So uh, trucking, of course, is a good way to have your solitude. And I like to drive. So, you know, it makes sense. But it was nothing. I just got back into what I did before, you know, and being an educator is different than being in the shop. Like when I was saying on uh, meeting her at the Three Rivers, she's an educator as well, you know, in the transportation industry. And I'm an educator in the beauty industry. So when it comes to teaching and um, having, you know, students, it's just a, a different type of energy and life changing uh, power, if you will, you know, and so transportation and, and nails and, and beauty industry, and those are the two things I love, so that's why it's called truck and nails, and I'm into both of those, so it just made sense for me to kind of go back and forth when I uh, want to, but it, I, I don't miss a beat, you know, I just go back and forth when I need to go back and forth and to them, you know? Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. Shout out to Three Rivers Truck Driving School, that's down in Georgia, right? It is. Yeah, I spoke. I, I I had a I had a great conversation with her. Guys, check out that episode. Uh, she's one of the first uh, first female of color to own a the own a, uh, all trucking school down there, and she got some great great options. Listen, doing that conversation in your live feed, man. I I need you. I, I need you to tell the truth about trucking for women out here, because what you what you what you spoke with some real stuff you know a lot of these influencers from tiktok from well in particular tiktok um they all come on here and they 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 do the shucking and jiving and all like that miranda tell tell the truth about what's really going on in trucking for women it's it's not all like that is it um it, you know trucking for women uh it is a difference Okay, but the with the industry has made a shift uh, far as uh, financially, and I'm gonna say this because this is what I'm seeing and being in the industry for a little time. But on the business side, on the business side, it's a lot of opportunities for female truckers in, in the minority sector as well, as far as getting contracts and becoming owner operators faster. And I think if you follow a lot of the truck drivers here and um, the female drivers, they're younger. And they're just coming into the industry and they're just, you know, taking control and, and ownership quickly. I don't know if you've been able to kind of, you know, notice that. I mean, you got women in here in their 20s. Once they get into transportation, because it's a minority. But, you know, as a woman of color, you're a double minority. So you're able to kind of come in and, and, and get some other opportunities that other people in the industry who've been in there a while, you know, have, have, have a lot of challenges. So I mean that's the real part of it. But that's uh, that's just but that's just part of it. And and shout out to the women right. 
shout out to the women that's coming in here and doing the damn thing on on a serious tip. But what I'm talking right. about, but what I'm talking about, majority of these influencers just just showing that just showing one way they're not showing they're not showing the other side of the seriousness that it is for women out here like you know for for your safety it's not all it's it's not all that it's not all that hot you're not going to get you know it's just like what uh what she said on uh on your live feed you're not going to yeah. get your showers you're not right. going to talk to your people you're not going to, you know, there's a lot of things that you're not going to do. So what's, what are some other things that, that y'all two touched on, on that side of the realm, which makes it a little bit more challenging for you women out here? Man. Um, well, off of the, off of the camera, we just talked about, um, being a, a, a parent, you know, because um, in her case, you know, of course, she, she has a, a family. She has a husband and everything like that. So you have a lot of truck of women in trucking. They have husbands, their parents, you know, as well. And children are in different age groups. And, you know, that can that can take a toll on your mental, too, based on the ages of your children, right? So we kind of talked about that. And when they get into it, they think they're going to just go and make a lot of money. They're going to be all this. And it's not like that. You have to really learn. You have to be safe then for yourself safety on the road and it's just a little bit different for women with our hygiene uh we have our emotions that we deal with you know in reality mm -hmm. and it's a male-dominated field we have our uh most of us you know we have our our uh our cycles and stuff like that so it's, it's like the showers and the hygiene you have to really have a system in place you know in, uh, in trucking and even as women we have a different way of learning. And we were talking about that. Like we are more analytical, uh, more as men and trucking, they'll be like, okay, just turn left, turn the wheel this way, turn right. We'll say, okay, well, why am I doing that? And I know this one, he said, okay, well, I'm turning right. What am I turning right for? You know, I think it process like just turn right. But I mean, if I turn right, what's going to happen? It's just a whole different. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all hold different. Y'all, y'all are a whole different beast out there. Like for for us men, you know, and and let me and let me just paraphrase this. We we got our own mental issues as well. I mean, I I go through it. I'm a I'm I'm in my fifties, and they say grown men don't cry, but I, I find myself shedding a tear or two. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you know it's it just. Sometimes it's just hard out here. Like a uh, depression and and anxiety comes on you quick, and it comes out of nowhere. And for us men, you know, we go through that too. But on the flip side of that, we can get up. We can we we can get up, hop in the seat, go in here to get to where we need to get to. Some of you guys are just butt booty stink though, for real. I mean, you guys gotta you guys gotta hit that hit that baby wipe on you at least one time, bro. One time. That's all, right. all I'm saying. But for you women though, I mean, you know, you y'all, y'all, y'all are emotional creatures. And yeah. and a lot of things just just get to you like, you know, the only way you're gonna talk to your child is through the phone. Or with technology, you got FaceTime. Yeah. And then right. after you hang up with your child and you still driving, you be like, mm. and then you guys uh, also, you guys are, well, I ain't going to say, well, only a handful, uh, a handful of y'all, but uh, uh -huh. most of uh -huh. you, most of you guys are, 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 are clean people. And, and y'all be trying to find a shower quick, fast in a hurry. Go ahead and go, go ahead and, and, and tip on, on, on some of that. Has that, has that affected you? Because wait, don't you have kids? You don't have kids. You got kids. I got, I got like a thousand, but yeah, I got kids. Oh, I'm actually I, I a thousand. Well, you you but are instead of instead of a Papa was a Rolling Stone, you was a Mama Rolling Stone. What's what's up, trucking nails? What's what's, what's what up doing. with them thousand? Wait, wait, hold on. I'm about to break this to you right quick. How how what what are the what are the names? And the ages of your thousand kids. <laughs> I'm saying that they're like you know very powerful people, but I have uh, two of my kids are grown, and I have a um, 14 year old. So um, I'm, I actually brought my 14 year old with me. So when I go to this, it's like a field trip for today, and I was gonna um, 
say that because I want her to see representation of an educator. You know, we're just not in the beauty industry. We're also in transportation as teachers. And like I was mentioning to her, um, we are pillars of the industry. You know, just an educator to, you know, life change, you know, we're life changing events and to transform people's lives and teach them things. So she's actually with me. So um, when I go to visit businesses or I bring my youngest with me as I do my oldest, so they'll see things and see representation and, and just, you know, it's just learning and teaching. So when I'm off the road on my home time, right, because when I'm on the road, like we're talking about, right, I miss my baby and all of those things. And so I just plan, you know, when I have my home time, what I'm going to do is become a teacher and an educator as well. How but, how, um, how important for how how important it is for you for your home time to be home with your with your family especially especially your 14 year old um it's important because uh and then we have to you know i'm a planner too so it's very important so when i'm on my, at my home time when i'm at my home time uh you know when, when i'm on the road i pick up souvenirs or you know just doing other things to to you know stay connected you know you know and so we're coming out of the pandemic, and that was different, too, the last, you know, two years. But when I'm on my home time, this is where I am. You know, I'm not just in my house, but I'm actually, you know, still doing what mamas do, you know, take your kids out here and there and have the fun. Because you still, um, you know, they're still growing up and they have memories, and they want to see you, you know, in the fruits of your labor and things like that, you know. But you, it's important that this is my opinion. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, as women, I think we should have a plan like um, of growth too in the industry. Um, if you're having children, like my youngest is 14, you have some people who have seven, six, three, you know, babies, and for whatever reason they get into transportation. Like before, I, you know, I, before I got into transportation, I already have a degree. I was, a, you know, nail technician, salon, you know, owner. You know, I have all this. So transportation, you know, is is one of my last lives for me. Okay. Some people, it's their first and only life. But at the same time, um, as, a, as a woman and a mother, you have to be mindful, you know, that your children, you know, need that time as well. And I do encourage a lot of women in the summers, right, to, if you can, to bring, you know, some of your children with you on the road. Now, I don't see a lot of that, right? I don't keep up with it, but I don't see that when it's summertime. And if, you know, if you have co-parenting or, if you're married with your husband or one, you know, bring at least one of your children or one or two of them, if you can, that's going to save you money on camp and give them an opportunity to, to see things across country. You know, so I do see that on the road. I do see some parents, you know, with their wife or, or excuse me, some women with their child or two, a certain age. I see that, but I don't really see them on the YouTubers. You know, I, I'm not a person that keeps up with that, you know, cause I don't have the time to really do that. And that's not my forte, but I think that's uh, something that they should do. Even if it's for a week, even with um, a company driver, they do have that child ride along form. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And meet that requirement. And if you can't do that, schedule your home time, talk to your dispatcher, you know, talk to your dispatcher. Hey, these are the things that I like to do. You know, I, when I work at a job, I tell my dispatcher, my broker, okay, these are the cities I like. You know, I like this. I like this. These times are important to me, you know, and I always get my home time. I always, you know, I'll, you know, when I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. So you won't, don't want to get caught up so much in the money. And as women, our bodies, I'm telling you this, our bodies are made different. Okay. So you're going to have to, you know, muscular and, you know, testosterone, you, you start one way. And if you watch some of some of the women, they start one way and they go down. They don't understand it's time to get off and reset center yourself because you don't want to cause any hormonal imbalance in certain areas. Now, as far as hot, you say that you say hot, you say you say that uh, you say huh? that balance is off. Huh? You're going to need that. Going to need that nice reset. <laughs> All right, so that is, so talk about that that balance being off. You say they need to get back, I mean, get off the truck so they can at least reset themselves, huh? I'm not, yes. So, you know, I mean, if they, if they, you know, most women drivers, they are single, I'm just saying, and, you know, you don't want to take yourself down through there. I, I've seen some of them they, when they first start, and as they continue on and going through those changes, you're in different climate zones and lotions and moisturizers and hormone things. And they started to, you know, kind of, you know, have some physical challenges, you know, and over time. 
I'm not going to let any industry tear me down to a place. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm a man. I think that, you know, it's a masculine uh, thing. It's a male-dominated field, but it takes a lot of muscle, a lot of things. And we still do need to exercise. We can't let ourselves go because women, we held to a higher standard. And so we have to understand that, too. So sometimes if you need to take some time off a month or two to reset yourself as a woman driver, you should do that. You know, we need to do the self-care as well, you know, and and get back. And I think a lot of people, they're just going through the hormonal thing and they're they're losing out their self-care with this trucking. But it is what it is. That's what's up. That's what's up. Trucking nails stopping by to tell the real about what's going on out here in the trucking field. That's what's up. Trucking Nails, thank you very much. Guys, you know the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men podcast show. If you guys want to get in on a meet and greet with the Lockout Men, hit me up, 216-600-2090. That's how you do it. Trucking Nails, how they can get a hold of you. You know, I'm a private person. So I actually, um, hit me up on Instagram at Truckin' Nails. All right, Truckin' Nails on Instagram. That's what's up. Guys, y'all take it easy, and we'll be back with another one. Peace. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, it went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got pops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.